During its eight-year insurgency, Boko Haram has killed more than 20,000 people and displaced millions in northeast Nigeria. This is Dr. Fatima Akilu, a former psychologist from Britain's National Health Service. Her mission is to de-radicalize leaders of Boko Haram, their wives, and counsel the tens of thousands of victims. The society was galvanized around the issue of the Chibok girls, uh, but nobody was putting together a plan for all the other victims that had had identical experience to the Chibok girls, and some had been held by Boko Haram far longer. Under her Neem Foundation, Akilu started a project called Counseling on Wheels. We use tricycles to reach those communities because most of them are not motorable. So we call that program the Counseling on Wheels program. One participant in the de-radicalization program was a founding member and ideological leader of Boko Haram, before his arrest in 2011. I never felt that there was anything wrong with going places to kill people. The thing is that I have completely lost interest because I see what they're doing violates people's rights and way of life as human beings. It took a year for the former militant leader to open up. However, Dr. Akilu says building trust with women victims is even more challenging. Uh, the women who have married uh, Boko Haram men uh, voluntarily, what they saw is they saw these swashbuckling boys come into town with a lot of money, uh, wielding weapons and a lot of power. And it was very appealing to them, probably like uh, if cowboys rode into town in the olden days. 19-year-old Asta Abubakar lived with her militant husband for 14 months before escaping. I wasn't the same as Boko Haram, but when we were with them, we began to share the thoughts. Her outlook has changed since she started the counseling program. Before, our lives had been affected by our stay with the sect. But when they brought us here and spoke to us, they started to change the way we think. We started to think differently to Boko Haram. Counseling on Wheels hopes to make a difference in communities one person at a time to help rebuild Nigeria. Tuli Shabalala, CGTN.